That's the good ship Pinafore coming in. And I've never heard a prouder, happier crew. Listen. We sail the ocean blue And the saucy ships of beauty We are sober men and true And attentive to our duty When the balls whistle free On the bright blue sea We stand to our guns all day When at anchor we ride On the ports of tide We plenty of time for play We sail the ocean blue and the saucy ships of beauty We're sober men and true And attentive to our duty Our saucy ships of beauty We're attentive to our duty We're sober men and true We sail the ocean blue Someone has just come aboard with things to sell She's very, very fat and guess what they call her? Little Buttercup. I'm called Little Buttercup, dear Little Buttercup, though I could never tell why. But still I'm called Buttercup, poor Little Buttercup, sweet Little Buttercup I. I've snuff and tobacco and excellent Jackie. I've scissors and watches and knives. I've ribbons and laces to set off the faces of pretty young sweethearts and wives. Then buy of your buttercup, dear little buttercup. Sailors should never be shy. So buy of your buttercup, poor little buttercup. Come of your buttercup, bye. And here's the captain of the pinafore. He's even prouder than his crew. I am the captain of the pinafore. And am I good captain too? You're very, very good, and be it understood, I command a right good crew. Very, very good, and be it understood, in command of right to rule. Then give three cheers and one cheer more for the hearty captain of the pinafore. Then give three cheers and one cheer more for the captain of the pinafore. Now Sir Joseph Porter is coming to inspect the good ship pinafore. And there's that crowd again, sisters, cousins, and aunts, following Sir Joseph wherever he goes. I am the monarch of the sea, the ruler of the Queen's Navy, whose praise Great Britain loudly chants. And we are his sisters and his cousins and his aunts. And we are his sisters and his cousins and his aunts. His sisters and his cousins and his aunts. When at anchor here I ride, my bosom swells with pride, and I snap my fingers at a foreman's taunt. And so do his sisters and his cousins and his aunts. And so do his sisters and his cousins. But when the breezes blow, I generally go below and seek the seclusion that a cabin grants. And so do his sisters and his cousins and his aunts. And so do his sisters and his cousins and his aunts. His sisters and his cousins whom he reckons on by dozens and his aunts. If you should ask how Sir Joseph reached his great success, he'd be very glad you asked that question. He loves to talk about it. When I was a lad, I served a term as office boy to an attorney's firm. I cleaned the windows and I swept the floor and I polished up the handle of the big front door. He polished up the handle of the big front door. I polished up that handle so carefully that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy. He polished up that handle so carefully that now he is the ruler of the Queen's Navy. Ralph, a member of the crew, is in love with the captain's daughter. He's just a simple sailor, but he is an Englishman. And he's mighty proud of that. All he himself has said it, and it's greatly to his credit that he is an Englishman. That he is an Englishman, or he might have been a Russian, a French or Turk or Russian, or perhaps I tell I am. Belong to all the nations, 
gets to marry the captain's daughter. And there's someone the captain loves, too. Guess who? Little Buttercup. For he loves little Buttercup, dear little Buttercup, though I could never tell why. But still he loves Buttercup, poor little Buttercup, sweet little Buttercup. Oh. 